Hey guys, what is up? It is Lake here coming at you with another video. Now, today I'm going to be doing a quick video on how to gain performance on your Windows PC. Now, let's get right into it. So, first of all, you need to go um, to Razer and type in Razer Cortex. Now, this is on the Razer site, like the peripheral, like the keyboard and mouse company. And uh, it's a free download. Uh, you just have to make a Razer account, which is free anyway. Um, and it's just a program. You download it here and you install it. Pretty simple. Then, when you get up, it'll load all your games that you have on your PC on your main hard drive. If you have any, uh, like I store most of my games on my uh, uh, external, or not external hard drive, but a separate hard drive than what in Windows is installed, you can always add games with this plus button here and browse for games. But I just keep whatever is here. So, if you want to make uh, more performance on your PC, Basically, what this application does is frees up resources and uh, stops applications that are using resources that don't need to. So if we go to Boost, um, this is the main part of this program. Now, Boost, um, you can have it to automatic boost, um, but if you hit Boost mode, it'll show you this, um, and it'll free a bunch, uh, like I freed a bunch of stuff. And I just started out my PC, so it was only about a gigabyte of RAM, but still a gigabyte helps. But if you've been using your PC, um, that can help a lot. Now, a few other tabs on this program that are really helpful are Diagnose, so you can analyze, and it'll basically generate uh, some things that are wrong with your PC, um, some things that uh, are not all that, uh, it'll basically show everything that has uh, that there's been problems or reports on your PC and then you can copy it or export it um, if you do tweak it'll show you some things um, that um, could prioritize different things it, it's basically basically making your PC faster uh, fixing things that shouldn't be like that so if I hit optimize it'll say analyzing um, you'd have to hit OK here um, so when I, whenever I restart my PC, all those changes will take effect. Now defrag, uh, you can choose a game, which will fit a game library. So you can just hit here and hit defrag. You know, clean out the game files, make it faster loading times. If you have trouble with loading times, um, but the also a really great feature about this program, other than the actual boost feature, which is the main thing I showed you, is first of all you can choose games from you know Steam. You know, automatically change the settings to the best settings and boost automatically for you. So everything is done if you just select a game from this games tab um, and you don't have to worry about anything else. Also, this application gives you like really good de deals on like some uh, games, um, like we have Dragon Age. Um, we have already 16% off a game that literally just came out, it's 50 on this. Doom is only $27. Counter Strike is 12 instead of 15, which isn't all that big, but you know, in some cases you can get some really good uh, deals, such as Grand Theft Auto 5 for 30 bucks. That's pretty good. Titanfall 2 for $48. Now that's like 10 bucks off, and the game just came out. Infinite Warfare, $50. It's this game even it hasn't even come out yet, and um, you already have a discount. So uh, that's a really cool feature. Also, if you're big into streaming, um, you can capture or, or stream. Um, as you see, there's streaming service YouTube. They just added uh, YouTube and Twitch and all that. Or they always had Twitch, but they didn't have YouTube, which annoyed me, which is why I never really used it. Um, but you can get the pro version, which uh, is about like seven bucks or whatever, something like that. Um, but you don't have to. You can use this feature without anything. I mean, you can just record and do all that type of stuff, take pictures, and I set shortcut keys. And there is a new VR tab for anyone that has a VR of any type. Um, and right now it's pretty new. Uh, you can get an OS VR, um, open source virtual reality uh, headset, um, and you can get that. Um, and it will basically work with this feature. It's just kind of something cool that they did add as a beta. So thanks for watching guys, please rate, comment, like, subscribe, uh, I'll leave the link down below for this program, it really helps and I've used it a lot of times on many different PCs that I've had, so thanks for watching guys, peace out.